Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is part two of our mini summer capsule wardrobe blog series and YouTube series. And this week I am featuring the Green Line Lark Tee, which is this pattern here. It's just a really nice, classic, basic top that will go with loads and loads of things. It's really versatile. You could wear it under things, over things, on its own. And there's lots of different options to mix and match as well. So it has got a crew neck with a neck band, a V neck with a neck band, a boat neck, which is just, um, that's actually the version I've got on just now. And that's just literally turned and stitched. And then it's also got a scoop neck, um, which has a neck band too. And then four different sleeve lengths are a cap sleeve and a short sleeve. They look quite similar on the technical drawings, but when you see my versions, you'll see they are a bit different. Three quarter length sleeve and a long sleeve as well. So you can obviously totally mix and match them too, which is great. So it's so out of one pattern, you can get quite a lot of different types of tops. So it is made using a jersey fabric, stretchy jersey fabric and some of that might be new to you or you might not have that much experience with it but it is much easier than you would think especially with a simple construction like this top but what I've done is made a separate video that's got lots of tips and tutorials in it and it focuses on mostly focuses on putting in the neck bands so if you if you sort of struggle with that then hopefully the two different ways I show you might give you some extra tips so there's a link to that in the blog and then um, if you're watching it just straight from YouTube then you can see it on there as well. So I made three different versions from this pattern. So I made a cap sleeve version with the scoop neck and I used this really really lovely medal fabric. It's a medal look back and you can see it's got a nice sort of fluidity to it. It's really lovely to work with, nice and silky and smooth and soft. Um, so that is my first version. Then the second one I made is a v-neck and that's got the short sleeve. I actually prefer the cap sleeve but I, the short sleeve the, in my version it is just how it comes off the pattern because I wanted to sort of show you the, the real difference between those two. Um, and I also used the medal fabric to make that, it's just in a different colourway, it's in the duck blue, duck egg blue. And then my third version is the boat neck. So I wanted this to look like a bit more kind of a classic Brenton, Brenton style top. Um, so I've used our yarn dyed loop back medium weight jersey for that. So the yarn dyed just means that before the fabric was actually sort of knitted to make the fabric, the yarn was dyed before then. So that's how the stripe gets there. It's not the stripe isn't printed on top. So it's a, it's a really lovely quality that one. And so yeah, that's the boat neck with the three quarter sleeves. So for all three of my versions, I did shorten them. So on my blog, I've got a picture of what the, the stripey one looked like before I'd, I'd hemmed it or I'd shortened it. And it did come up quite long in me. And because the top isn't, it is fitted, like it does have shaping in the waist, but it doesn't kind of sort of grip and really cling to your body like some, some jersey tops would do. You know, it is, it is a little bit loose. And I felt like that longer length just made me feel a little bit frumpy, but as soon as I shortened it, I just felt much better. So it is really easy to shorten it. You could do it before, or you could do it after, like I had done, where you just, you know, literally make it, try it on and be like, yeah, I want to chop it from there. I think I probably cut off about maybe three or four inches, maybe even slightly more. The pink one's a little bit shorter, um, but I think it just totally changes the, the look and feel of the garment. It would also be really easy to take it in at the side seams as well. If you did just want it a little bit more fitted, I would still suggest choosing your size, you know, looking at your measurements and choosing your size because you don't want to downsize and then it becomes a bit too small across the neck and the shoulders. So you want to make sure that you've got the right size up there. And then if you do want it fitted, I would just try it on inside out and literally kind of just like pinch in the side seams and just effectively sew it with a bigger seam allowance and, and trim it down if you if you wanted it to be like a little bit more fitted but I think it's nice that it's loose um, and you know it makes it it makes it really nice and comfortable. So there are lots of different ways that you can wear these tops and hopefully with the three different versions you can see really how versatile the pattern is and actually using the same pattern you can get lots of different looks. So here I'm wearing it with my Rosari skirt which was featured in last week's blog post 
and I think it looks really nice tucked in and tucked out as well so just kind of depends on what sort of look or vibe you want to go for I think it looks nice with both and um, I think it also just looks really cute with some jeans and trainers just as a more kind of casual look and um, obviously it's not always hot enough in the summer in the UK to wear a skirt and um, but I think it, it you know it does look really nice with it with the jeans as well and um, this is my v-neck version also with some jeans they're going to be featured in a couple of weeks time so watch out for those ones and then here is my stripy version and again I just you know I think it looks nice with jeans and I think it also looks nice with the rosary skirt too so you can you can really just sort of mix and match this nice and easily overall I really really love this top I think just because it's got so many options in it it does work out it's quite a good value value pattern really because you can just do so many different things with it I think probably my favorite is I don't know it's, it's a toss-up between this one that I've got on with the boat neck or the little cap sleeve one I really like both of them but but yeah you could you could literally just make this top again and again have so many different versions so I hope you find that useful and inspiring and do check out that other video that's got the jersey tips on it as well um, if, uh, I'll link to the blog post below which has got direct links to the pattern and all the fabrics as well and then like what we did for last week's post with the rosari skirt we've made up these really great kits as well so in the kit you get um, you get your fabric you get your pattern and matching thread and then also like a sewing with jersey starter pack if you like so you get the seam tape interfacing which is for stabilizing your shoulder seams and you get jersey needles and a twin needle as well so buying it all together you save it's, it's just over 15% you save buying it all together and um, but we do have limited stock of those ones so if you would like one then um, you need to kind of grab it while you can but we do have the the items individually as well so if you wanted that that would be fine too but I hope you find that useful and interesting and please do join me next week where I'm going to be showing you my different versions of the closet case files Cali shirt and shirt dress I'm really excited about that one we've got some really nice versions so I'll see you then bye <laughs>